Hey, it's me, GV, and welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to Let's 100% Oblivion! Come on down! Man, I butchered the prices right theme song, but... Anyways, welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to Let's 100% The Elder Scrolls for Oblivion. Ladies and gentlemen, currently we are in Vytharn. This is a pretty interesting quest here. Ghosts of Vytharn. Um, actually really interesting because these ghosts that live in this area, this, this, this fortress, whatever you would like to call it, they've been cursed for all of eternity because they didn't take up, um, Madame Zeroni. They didn't take Madame Zeroni up the mountain. No, but in reality, they were like, you know, they, they, there was four people that did bad things, um, and caused the destruction or, uh, they caused Vytharn to be overrun. And now for all of eternity, they are being punished. And so we need to stop that. We need to stop that from happening. We need to end the curse, basically. I found a ghostly dagger of depletion for some reason. I am unable to wield it, though. Uh, maybe we're just not just enough, you know, like the hammer of Mjolnir. Um, the Ghost of Count... Well, we're not going to read this all. I just basically described it. So, basically, we need to get down to the bottom of this mystery and figure things out. Now, over here, we've got another ghostly item. Desideratus's doll. This ghostly doll is very odd. I have a feeling I should keep it with me for a while. And thus we will. Now, as the Count said, there are four people that did something wrong... Uh, in order to doom everybody to a lifetime of roaming about as ghosts. I'm, I went about my business while others fought. Thus I earned my doom. Now, certain people say things like that, but, but unbeknownst to them, that's not really why. I mean, it, it may be part of it, I suppose. Was my sin so great that I must suffer for all eternity? Apparently, yes. Take care. Bye! <laughs> uh, wait, do you mind if I... I mean, you're a ghost, right? So, that that cool with you? Cool, man. Cool. What about this one? Ooh. That's exactly what I need. Thank you very much. Okay, so we can talk to everybody to get down to the bottom of it. Um, but we also want to explore every single room. Because what as you can I see, there are certain, uh, certain items that we want to get our paws on. So, I think we already went this way, right? Yeah, and we, uh, we need to go outside as well. But for now, we'll just explore the inside locations. Having trouble remembering where exactly we've been to. Just like in real life, my ability to navigate is uh, awful without a GPS. It's it's basically non-existent. I sat here and feasted while others fought. Thus I earned my doom. Yeah, but I mean, do you have any, like, ability to fight? I, maybe that's not such a bad thing, you know what I'm saying? I sat here and feasted while others fought. Thus I earned my doom. Well, that sucks, I suppose, but I need some info. I sat here and feasted. Yeah, that's what. Yeah, that's what the other uh, people have said. Y you sat here. I wonder what you're gonna tell me. I sat here. Ah, and feasted. wonderful. Okay, so this should be the front door, if I remember right. The Bailey. Yeah, that's where all the fighting's happening. So let's go back over this way. We found the teddy bear right around there. Okay, let's move in here. What do we have in the back? Metal door, which we can lock pick. Now that is interesting, don't you think? A one, a two, a three. Security skill hasn't increased in quite a while. And here we have the armory, interestingly enough. And boom, Althul's arrows. We've got 30 of them. 30 of them. These ghostly arrows are quite strange. I am unable to knock them, though. We get it, Darvesh. Yes, you cannot use any of these. We get it. Let's, let's lockpick this, too. The problem is, like, I don't know if it's going to be fast or slow. Like that, I can do. See? I'm getting better every time. Um, what was our rule 50, I believe, right? So that is a no-go. So let's not talk to that guy because he might be very angry at us. But we got a couple of calipers here. Rusty iron mace. No, thank you. Repair hammer. Maybe so. Hard chest. No, thank you. Uh, there's some interesting stuff here. Let's see. Let's take the repair hammer, I suppose. Yeah, if you lockpick your way in here, which I suppose you need to do. I don't think you can grab that ghostly, grab those ghostly arrows from the front there. Iron claymore, iron claymore. No, I think we're done here. Okay, so I think we're missing one more item that we need to find, and it's probably out there somewhere. I don't remember exactly what it is. Do you close the door? What? What? 
What? Wow, this ghost has a teleportation spell. I am Batgro Orko, Warden of the Armory. If you need weapons or armor, I've got them. Do you actually sell things? I forget. The fanatics are about to break into the courtyard. It's a good thing I've kept all the weapons and armor in good condition. If I let those soldiers use them, they'd be all dented by now. They kind of need to use them, Batgro Oracle. What are you talking about? Everyone wants my weapons. But they're my weapons. Mine. D but, sir, you cannot use all of the weapons. Are you Are you mad? Vithar and Bailey with a hard lock. That's kind of interesting. We can enter it from different areas. Okay, yes, I think we need to find one more. And it's not just finding these items. We need to do certain things with them as well. So let's head into the Bailey now. Now, I forget exactly what happens. Hopefully, these items cannot be taken from my inventory. I have, like, a slight feeling like they can, since it's been so long since I've done this, but I don't think so. Now, let's talk to people. Main gate wheel. I don't want to activate that just yet. Althel's ghost. One, two, three. I need my arrows. Five, seven, eleven. I can't get them. Thirteen, seventeen, nineteen. If I leave, who will keep up the count? Twenty-three, twenty-nine, thirty-one. So this person is obsessive compulsive. Luckily for her, we found her arrows, but I don't think we want to give them to her just yet. One, six, one. I was the first to spot the invaders. Eight, zero, three. I was on patrol when I saw their skirmishers marching toward Vithorn. Three, nine, eight. I rode back as fast as I could to tell Count Syrian of the danger. Eight, seven, four. He went and hid. Nine, eight, nine. Fourteen, eleven. I must guard the lever that opens the gate. Nine, four. If the gate is opened, the fanatics will overrun Vithorn. Oh, hi! <laughs> Didn't see that person. Okay, I think we're looking for one... Um, yeah, I think we want to grab all of the items first before we deal with these people. So I think we're looking for the keep. Yes. Did he give us a keep key? No, we have to actually open our way. Okay. We must be able to get a keep, uh, a keep key, though, I would imagine. Because lots of people that are playing this are not going to be able to pick a hard lock. Although we are... There we go, as you can see. Give me a security level up. Jeez Louise, I feel like we've been in here already. Yes, we have. Oh, the key. oh, it was attached to the rest of the building, so I thought. Okay, we're looking for, I believe, an abbey of some sort. And then you'll notice, every time we come back out here, things reset. She's back here. It just keeps happening over and over again. This might be what we want. In fact, I'm pretty sure it is the mausoleum. That's right. Now, in the mausoleum... What will we find? We've got a brazier there, which again, I always forget how to actually pronounce. But let's loot everything. A sealed co- Oh my. Oh my. Uh, what do we have over- Ooh. Here lies Countess Sheen in Glade, matron scholar of Vytharn and ambassador of Black Marsh. Well, let's pry the coffin open. I don't think Darvesh is above- Darvesh is above- um, looting coffins, uh, grave digging, as it were. Here lies Count Kassarin Vytharn, to whom the love of family meant so much. Doesn't mean anything to me, though. And we have a glass display here. The flawed pearl valued at two. That's garbage, man. A ruby, sure. Flawed emerald, sure. Gold nugget, sure. I love me some nuggets and tendies. Okay. Moving on. Again, the brazier is glowing. Keep that in mind. The predecessors. You guys can read this if you would like to. One, two, three, four, five. Uh, were we able to... Ooh. Whoa, there's people in there. Tomb marker. Herein interred lies Count Vitrian, primog primogenator of the keep and nobility of Vytharn. I don't know what that word is. Never heard that word before. Herein uh, interred lies Countess Mawayan, mother of Vytharn. So that sounds like progenitor, which means like comes first. So I would imagine this is the first and and the first man and the first woman of Vytharn, pretty much. Okay, in this one. Man, these people are buried with nothing. What the heck? And over here, flawless topaz, flawless sapphire, gold nugget, lockpick. Here lies Countess Jadine, lady of color, from whom we all had so much to learn. Lady of color? What does that mean? Herein lies Count Caesarian Vytharn, noble conqueror and just leader of our people. And none of them... Oh, that guy had a silver nugget. 
I'll be careful not to disturb the other, the other silver nugget. <laughs> okay. Let's... Oh. Wait, what is that? Why is that glowing like that? I don't think we're supposed to notice this. Welkin stone. I found some ghostly Welkin stones. I can't seem to use them myself. Whoa. Well, that's the last item, apparently. Huh. I don't remember the ghostly Welkin stone whatsoever, but I guess that's the last and final item. Now, we need to find who these items belong to. Uh, we know that one of them... Ooh, who is this? The citizens are in my way. Should I kill them? No. Too bad. If only I had more magicka, I could kill the fanatics and then rule this town. Jeez, buddy. I would oh, never have allowed I didn't mean to myself skip. to do that. However, now that they are befouled, I can use them. You may grovel in gratitude at my feet later. Oh my. Wait a second. Okay, okay. Never mind. Okay, well, I didn't mean to skip the dialogue there. They doubted my power. Now they'll see. I thought for a second he was talking about turning on the people that he's fighting for. And I was like, wait a second. Did I just find another path to a quest that I never knew about? And I thought maybe this guy would turn on everybody if we gave him the Welkin Stone. Because I don't remember getting the Welkin Stone. But that is false. It's that fool, Bat Groorg. He thinks his armory is more important than the town or our lives. He's first on the list. Oh, yes. First. This guy is very angry. The fanatics? What's to understand? They were just after my power. But it's mine. All mine. They wanted me to convert Vyvan. But I fooled them. I put them on the list. Oh, yes. They're on the list now. Because we refuse to convert, they lay siege to Vyvan. If they had agreed to let me rule, I would have helped them. But now, they're on the list. We get it, man. They're on the list. I get it. Okay. So we've given this guy his Welkin Stones. We need to figure out what to do with the other three items. Obviously, we give the arrows to Alphal. And then we have the teddy bear. And the last thing was the dagger. So we need to find out what to use with all of those. Now, I have a good idea. But there's one that's confusing me. Oh, these Welkin Stones. We need to find somebody with a unique name, basically. All of these are just ghosts. Also, we can give the arrows to Alpha. Let's go ahead and do that. Three, one, two, seven, one. You have arrows. Eight, two, eight. Now, let the battle be joined. One, eight, two. Why aren't you counting? Eight, four, five. Okay, so she's good to go. Now, I do know what we do with the teddy bear, but we haven't talked to the person that it involves. I don't really know where they are. Oh, maybe... I'm a farmer, not a soldier. I don't know how to use this weapon. Hmm. All of these are unnamed ghosts. This guy's dead. So we have to do everything perfectly. That's the thing. And I'm forgetting exactly how to do it. But we'll figure it out. I'm not going to take the whole episode. Don't worry. Um, if I can't figure it out in the next, like, two or so minutes, I'll figure it out off camera. But let's see for a second. I could have swore. I'm keeping vi- where are the other people? We're missing two people to talk to. Death blow to the fanatics! Is it this guy? My betrothed. I must save her. Aha! We tried to gather the townsfolk into the keep, but it was too late. I barely had time to find my betrothed and get us inside. The gate was closed behind us. I heard the townsfolk pounding on the gate, but not for long because then the screaming began. I'm supposed to defend the courtyard against the fanatics. I'm supposed to stop them from getting inside the keep. Okay, so I happen to know who his betrothed is. I've eliminated one of the four fanatic raiders that came in from the dungeons. Only three to go. Right now I remember how this quest goes. Okay. So, now that we've given the guy the Welkin Stones, he can take out one. Now that we've given the uh, elf her arrows, she can take out the other. And what we need to do with the teddy bear is head to the brazier. Do you want to put the doll in the fire? Yes, I do. I burned the doll in the ghostly flames. I don't know why I was able to do that, but there must have been some purpose. If 
Fire seems to pull at you as if seeking something. Well, we've already given it what it seeks. So now that other guy won't have to deal with his betrothed, which was the teddy bear, which is quite odd, as you would imagine. And if we talk to him... Please! I must find my betrothed! You burned her? She's gone? You've driven all meaning from my life. I shall throw myself upon the swords of the fanatics so that I may join her sooner. And there we go. So let's watch how this plays out. This guy might be who we need to give the dagger to right over here. I've eliminated two of the four fanatic raiders that came in from the dungeons. Only two more to go. And I don't think the other one's going to activate because they're killing the mage too quickly. So we need to head back out here so that everything resets. Or I guess maybe we just wait. The invaders are breaking through. I danced for the rain, but it isn't helping. Althel brought us the news of the invaders. I ran to the wall to see for myself. That's where I danced for the rain. I saw them enter the sump and reservoir. I tried to warn the guards to bar the doors to the reservoir, but I wasn't in time. The fanatics caught us by surprise, attacking out of the reservoir, killing the rear guard and opening the main gates. Now I do the dance of death. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think I've ever heard that voice line. Now, who is the last person? This guy dies immediately, right? Down goes the mage. This guy says he's going to throw himself at the enemies, and he does. They both die. Okay, then the horde comes in. I have changed the actions of three of the defenders, yet one of the fanatics still gets past the defenders. There's nothing more I can do here. Maybe Count Syrian can help me. Ah! Okay, then. I was wondering. I was like, what in the world could we possibly be missing? And the answer is... Syrian. I feel something different. The curse feels lighter, somehow. The curse is not lifted. The defenders of the gate were not the only ones to fail their town. My greatest shame is that I was struck by cowardice and fled. Like my people... I am doomed to repeat the actions of my cowardice. Alone, I cannot redress this wrong. However, you can. Take my helm. With it, you can take my place in the defense of the gate. Defeat the devoted fanatic in combat, and the curse will be lifted. Be warned, though. While you wear the helm, it is as if you are one of us. You are trapped in these ruins until you lift our curse. Or I take off the helm, right? I think he already put it on me, didn't he? Count Syrian's helmet added. Yes, indeed. You guys can't see. There we go. But we have a madness helm. Um, let's actually see if it's got any enchantments, shall we? Count Syrian's helm. Heavy armor. Fortify heavy armor, five points. Fortify block, five points. Vython ghost on self, which probably just means that we can't leave. Now, what about the dagger, though? Didn't we find... Yeah, we found a dagger of depletion. So what does that even matter? Unless we're supposed to use the dagger. Dagger of depletion. You are un unable to wield the ghostly dagger. I forget what this has to do with this whole thing, then. Uh, okay, so okay, so our Blade of Woe has zero charges. Dagger of the Dynamo has zero charges. Ruin's Edge has zero charges. Shadow Hunt has zero charges. Jeez Louise. Let's see. Blade two hand, blade two hand. So what has the most damage out of our daggers? The Dagger of the Dynamo does. So let's switch over to that. And let's defeat the Chosen Fanatic, or whatever his name was. Who will come through this main door, I suppose. What could possibly be... Devoted Ghost Fanatic. There you are. Let's do it. Let's dance the dance of death. Ooh, this guy's tough. Okay, let me flee for a second, like the girl that I am. Okay, have at thee! Actually, hold on. I'm gonna fire at you with my bow. Which probably sucks for you. You're a big, valiant warrior, I know. But me, I prefer the shadows, the arrows... The tinge of madness one only sees in the dark of the night. Excuse me, let me just jump right over you. 
Unfortunately, it looks like your health's just whittling down as you try to strike me, buddy. I don't think you're going to win this one. It's almost as if I'm the most agile person in all of Cyrodiil. And the Shivering Isles, for that matter. Almost. How did that miss? No idea. I've got an interesting sword. I wonder if I can loot it. And down you go. I have defeated the devoted fanatic. The curse of Vytharn has been lifted. And our marksman increased. Excellent. Can't loot him. Whoa, the sword. Grand Madness Longsword. We're probably... Yep, yeah, over encumbered. Grand Madness Longsword. Damage health, 17 points on strike. This thing is worth almost 4,000 gold. Uh, let's go ahead and drop the Steel Battle Axe. And the Steel Claymore. And now we are good. We got about 58 pounds... So, how much does this weigh? 19? Take that as well. You have lifted the curse. All of Vithar thanks you. You may keep my helmet. It never did me much good. That's it? No pomp and circumstance? And they all disappear. The ghosts of Vitharn have been laid to rest. What was the point of the Dagger of Depletion? Am I just forgetting something that we did with it? I We gave the mages Welkin Stone. We gave this guy... Well, we burned this guy's teddy bear, so he became just depressed. And then we gave this woman her arrows, but we did nothing with the dagger. What in the world? Oh, we could have burned it here, too. I never realized that. Well, nevertheless, we are done with Vytharn, ladies and gentlemen. A really involved quest. Um, and now that I've completed it once again, I've got to say, my opinion on it has changed. It's actually pretty surprisingly good and fleshed out. I don't know why I was calling it not really that fleshed out. Th there are certain things that seem to be missing. Like, for instance, the dagger. What's going on there? But otherwise, really good. Uh, let's take a look at that... Count Syrian's helmet. Probably the same thing. It just doesn't have Vytharn's ghost. You could, you saw on the top left that it removed the normal one from me and then added this one. So that's what happened there. Oh, boy. We have a lot of gold, and I could really use a recharging of my weapons. But, man, am I just... Man, does it cost just so much. Uh, let's go ahead and use a repair hammer. Our elven shield just never takes damage. Okay, and from what I understand, that's pretty much it for the side quests in the Shivering Isles. I think we've pretty much done almost all of them, except for Fetch Quest. Fetch Quest. Fetch Quest. Fetch Quest. And that is about it. Yeah. Although, I guess we need to find a Madness Matrix and remember this, because it might end the quest if we do and give her one. Okay, so all we have now is the Ritual of Ascension. I've been directed by Shiagorath. Is that a typo there? I've been directed by Shiagorath, become the Sovereign. Yeah, there should be there should be a two there. I've been directed by Shiagorath to become the Sovereign of Mania or Dementia. He suggested I speak to Arctus, High Priest of Dementia, or Derevenin, High Priest of Mania, at the Sasellum Arden Soul here in New Shioth to learn more. And that's exactly what we shall do. You cannot fast travel from this location. Makes sense, since it was a cursed location. What was that dagger for? I'm trying to rack my brain. I'm just going to have to figure it out in between episodes, but I just cannot think. What in the world would that be for? It's so odd. Okay, let's head back to the new Shioth Palace. It's time for us to become a Duke of Dementia. Now, where is the Sicellum Arden Soul? It should be, like, linked by both, but I suppose it's taking us to Crucible. And then it should be really close here, if I'm not mistaken, unless it's on the complete opposite uh. side. Hey, buddy, how's it going? Yes? You're talking to me, and I don't like you. Goodbye. That's interesting, because I feel like if I leave... The young folk just don't appreciate a good stick anymore. <laughs> God, I love that guy's dialogue. <laughs> That's probably my favorite dialogue in all of the Shivering Isles. He's just, like, so obsessed with sticks. <laughs> it's very humorous to me. Ooh. That's not a good sign. Hello. I wouldn't be caught dead at sickly Bernice's. How can I be of service? Hello, Arctis. Interesting. 
Not many wish to hear about such things, but I would be glad to oblige. Becoming the Duke of Dementia requires passage through the ritual of accession. Specific guidelines set forth by Ard and Sul himself. Yeah, buddy. I I'm not the lore guy, so I have no idea who Arden Sul is actually supposed to be. But tell me about this ritual. Seldom is the subject ever... Br Wait a moment. Did you want to hear the history of the ritual? Oh, he's getting so excited. I feel like Darvash would say, tell me what to do. But for those of you watching, please explain the ritual's history. As it happened so many years ago, my lord Arden Sul suspected a traitor in his midst. Not wishing to find himself on the wrong end of a blade, he gathered his flock here in the Sacellum. By poisoning the sacramental wine, Arden Sul was able to suppress any such conspiracy in one fell swoop. He killed them all? Yes. He then removed their hearts from their bodies and used his ancient scrying technique, known as visceromancy, to read their lifeblood. When Arden Sul couldn't divine the traitor's true nature in their hearts, he became distraught and took his own life in the same way. From that day on, the ritual of accession for the throne of dementia was set. Tell me what to do. Very well. Spoken like a true son of the demented. To become the ruler of dementia, the current leader's heart must be cut out and brought to the altar of Arden Sul in the Sacellum. Once this is done, I can pronounce the heart bearer a duke or duchess. Then, all that is required is the blessing of our lord, Sheogorath. I've spoken to Arctus, High Priest of Dementia. The ritual of accession for Dementia is simple. Syl would have to be slain by the proposed successor, and her heart brought to the altar of Arden Sul at the Sacellum. I should now speak to Derevenin to learn of Mania's ritual. I'm disappointed in your choice. Why you would choose to honor the fetid madness of Dementia is beyond my understanding. And that is exactly why I've chosen them. Yes, Arden Sul. Doesn't the name simply roll wonderfully off the tongue? He was the sovereign of thought and a regnant artist. To call him a simple craftsman would not suffice. Know him as the Artificer Superior. Words dripped like honey from his tongue, and his songs were intoned with extraordinary verisimilitude. Had we been blessed with his constant presence, the Isles would be a maniac's paradise. An important part of our history, my friend. I would be glad to tell the tale if you have a moment. Tell me what to do. Certainly. When the ruler of Mania has decided it is time, he will choose a successor from his court. The successor is invited to a huge celebration, a night of hedonistic revelry, wine, Song, and of course, Green Moat. During this, the exiting regent imbibes three doses of the potent drug. This causes his heart to burst, and his lifeblood flows from his body. The successor then gathers the drug tainted blood and brings it to the altar of Arden Sul in the Sacellum. Once this is done, I will proclaim the successor a duke or duchess. Then, Sheagorath gives his blessing, and the cycle is completed. I've spoken to Derevenin, High Priest of Mania. The ritual of accession for Mania requires the current ruler to commit suicide by taking three doses of green moat, which from what I understand is refined feldew, which is lethal. Then his drug-tainted blood must be brought to the altar of Arden Sul at the Sacellum. After I decide which ritual to undertake, I should return to Sheogorath and inform him of my choice. And I think you all know what my choice will be, but we will make it in the next episode. Thank you so much for watching, ladies and gentlemen, and I will see you there. Bye-bye.